Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Halloween edition of the Friday. It's really not Halloween. I wish it was Halloween. Doge, don't you love that holiday? It is actually my favorite holiday. Is it more? Is it is it a better holiday than E3? Because that is the holiday we're in preparation to celebrate. What do you think of E3, Doge? Uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, I've only been one other time, so I'm pretty excited for this year. That's, you've only been one other time? Yes. I've been to every single one except one. And I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I love it. I'm excited. If you look at all people who have been complaining about the lack of AAA games this generation, oh my fucking god, you know what there's like... Metal Gear is coming, Batman's coming, Uncharted's coming, Gears of War is coming, uh, uh, Fallout is coming, Tomb Raider, it is insane. It is a fucking triple-A city, so I think it's going to be good. E3 as long as there's not a lot of waiting in line. So here's what we're going to do before we jump into what's happening on the game. We're going to go through and talk to some of the folks here at Bartlett Jones about what they are most excited about seeing at E3 2015. Uh, probably Fallout 4. I would like to see a centaur composed of three people, Reggie Filling, Hideo Kojima, and Shigeru Miyamoto. And of course, Reggie would be the top human half, and you'd say, my body's ready. No, 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 no. The shooter coming up, it starts with a B. The two shooters, one of them is Overwatch. What's the other one? Overwatch, look, Battleborn? That's the one. Battleborn and Overwatch, yes. Okay, Overwatch and Battleborn. Horror game! Most Fallout 4. Ooh, two for Fallout. Excellent. Okay. Something new, surprising. TJ. I've heard before. Okay. Fallout 4. Wow, three so far. Okay. With your 2015, what are you looking forward to the most? One Fallout one. 4. Holy shit, okay, good. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that the PC press conference thing. There's never been like oh, a yeah. PC press That's conference, so I just got a new beefy computer and looking forward mm. to playing some games on it. Very nice, very nice. Um, Fallout 4. <laughs> All right, Tobin, what do you want to see at E3? Well, at E3, I am, first of all, looking forward to seeing all the faces there, all the people playing the game, playing our game in particular. I'm really excited to see how people respond and for other games. I'd really like to see No Man's Sky because I'm really curious what that's all about. But if I had to pick one, I would say, if I could only get hands on with one, I would probably want it to be Metal Gear Solid 5. And then afterwards, you know what happened? Kojima would come up to me and say, Did you like it? And then I would say, Oh, fuck yeah, I do. Hey, so uh, we're doing a lot of tuning this <laughs> week and next week as we get ready for E3. Uh, this is a huge list. I'm actually going to check. I'm going to try to include some, just if anybody's interested, because I always find this kind of stuff interesting. Uh, all of I'm going to include a couple of these files uh, in this post so you guys can see the kind of stuff that we're trying to get locked before we go to E3. So it's a, it's a massive list. And some of it's just very, it's all very mundane. It's like, you know, the Vulcan gun should vanish when you dash, but right now it doesn't. So it's just a bug, right? But we want to make sure we put our best foot forward on the E3 show floor. So one of the things we're doing, obviously, is tuning. Tobin and I are working on the hand right now. So stop shooting for a sec. So this is one of the moves you can do when you get on the artist's hand. And uh, we're just in the test level, and that, that's like a, a dummy character down there. But you're doing what? You're looking at the collision of the bullets to make it easier to hit? Yeah, first I tweaked the damage, and now I'm actually trying to tweak the collision size just because it was a little too precise before. And it so. really is amazing, just a few numbers. Like nobody was, I used this, but nobody was using this. Uh, that, that, that's a little too generous still. Yeah, but, but uh, let's, I, for E3, we'd rather err on the side of maybe being a little OP on some weapons. Because uh, people are going to play it. Most people will play it once. Some people who really like it, hopefully, will have a lot of those come back and play it. But uh, we want to make sure that uh, the I don't know the way you tune an E three build is a little different than the way you tune the final build because you're it's a different kind of audience. Even though you still want to make sure the game is reflected. Uh, what else are we tuning? Let's share some other stuff or two. There is a speed buff pickup in the game that you can grab, and obviously your speed accelerates. The problem with it is, is it, it happens very, like it's gone within two seconds. Can you increase that to like say, I don't know, eight seconds from before the speed buff wears out? Yes, yeah, it's up to 7.5 right now. 7.5 seconds? Buff duration, 7.5. Uh, okay. Can you pick it up in the test level and see? Okay, so run. You actually you'll see the red lines coming off or let's see how long this lasts for you. Okay, so that needs to be like 500. Because you should be running, as long as you're in demon speed, you should be running fast. Okay. It shouldn't be a duration thing. So let's set I that. I just want to make sure that that doesn't affect the pickup one, because if we get the pickup one, so we've got, uh, those were supposed to be separated, and I know John and Subway back when they did separate them, but I don't know if that actually happened. So let's put it to 500, and then load her up in Alien Town, 
and let's get the pickup. And then we'll try the pickup. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so one of the big things we're working on right now, and you guys will see now, is uh, we're putting a lot more effort into the color of the characters and really helping to find attributes of them. Like, let's say Diablo's horns are all red and much richer color, her jacket's all filled in, and just getting more contrast and more legibility um, for all the characters. So that's Diablo. And trying to also still, though, make it look like it's pinned, though, right? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's been the tough thing, is getting, making sure all these details still read his pen and stuff like that because the easy thing would just be to fill it in but how much white do we leave in to still make it feel like it's drawn and yeah and i love how i mean that looks like ballpoint pen on the gun yeah. which is cool so then that's diablo over here we've got cyborg's new stuff oh look she's kneeling on that screen but she's not kneeling on that screen there's a bug we just it's gonna be a long weekend oh, damn it all right here's cyborg yellow with his new red coat Okay. Okay, that's a good bug. Look at that. What the fuck is going on there? And then, uh. Oh, you know what? Oh, because it's the camera. Okay. And then this is Punk or Johnny Savage. Which, if you haven't gone to the website, Nick put up a great post on Johnny Savage. You guys should check that out. A lot of the details of what he can do. But now he's got purple and green. It's kind of the reverse Hulk. There's Mike on his back. And, uh, yeah. So I think, uh,. Steve and Nafisa did a really good job bringing these guys, helping them pop, and uh, hopefully players at E3 next week will enjoy. So that is our Friday video. Thank you for watching. Hey, look what I'm doing this weekend. Woohoo! I'm excited. You played this yet? Uh, at E3 last at year. At E3. Yeah. You played at E3 last year. E3 too. last year, yeah. And you liked it. You didn't yeah. like it, right? I like it, but it's not. Uh, it I, I wanted more deathmatch. And so, okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Toad just, just laughing. Maybe the level. This thing of Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> you know what sucks, though? I bought it. Look at this great manual. Shit. Sh literally, look at that. Look at that. And that's not even a fucking manual. Wait, like a pamphlet? It's, it's, it's a pamphlet in a bunch of different languages telling me how not to get sued. I mean, this is, or how not to sue Nintendo, because, like, we told you don't fucking lick the socket. And that's, I mean, really? Come on. And, I mean, all, all, every publisher's doing it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I can't wait to play. All right. Friday video. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. See you.